Good morning, class. Our lesson today is Introduction to Graphics Design TLE Grade 8 Quarter 1 Lesson 1 Week 3 Content Standard The learners demonstrate an understanding of graphic design tools. Performance Standard The learners create videos with graphics design in a safe and responsible manner. Learning Competency Learning competency the learners will utilize graphic design tools for graphic production. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to 1. Discuss the importance of graphic design. 2. Identify how graphic design has been applied in the real world. 3. Get to know the principles and elements in graphic design. 4. Learn the fundamentals of graphic design and desktop publishing. Unlocking content area, vocabulary. Design is a discipline of study and practice focused on the interaction between a person, a user, and the man-made environment, taking into account aesthetic, functional, contextual, cultural, and societal considerations. Graphic design. These are professionals proficient in addressing communication issues and presenting solutions in a clear and visually appealing fashion. Desktop Publishing DTP is the use of the computer and software to create visual displays of ideas and information. Visual Hierarchy Organizing content in a layout can be achieved through variations in scale, density, or color. Graphic design. Graphic design is the process or practice of combining text and images in a visually appealing way to communicate a message. Graphic designers use their creativity and technical skills to create various designs, such as logos, advertisements, and website layouts. They consider aspects like color, typography, and layout to ensure the final product is both attractive and effective in conveying the intended message to the audience. Graphic designers often work with software tools like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator to bring their ideas to life. What makes a good graphic designer? A good graphic designer possesses a combination of creativity, technical skills, attention to detail, and the ability to effectively communicate with clients and understand their needs. They have a strong understanding of design principles such as color theory, typography, and layout. Good graphic designers are also adaptable and able to work under pressure to meet deadlines. Constantly seeking inspiration, Staying updated on design trends and being open to feedback are also important qualities that contribute to being a successful graphic designer. Understanding the fundamentals of design is the first step to creating visuals that have cohesiveness and harmony. By organizing these elements in a thoughtful way, you can create more than just visuals, but a design piece that communicates a lot more. Core elements in graphic design. These are the building blocks of arts and design. Understanding these elements will help you understand how art and design are fundamentally made. One, fixed point and is the building block of any visual form. This might seem basic, but what if we added a second or more dots on the same space? We eventually create an abstract shape. Two line is like a moving that, that can be straight or wiggly. It's a simple mark we use in art. When we place lines strategically, they help guide our eyes to important parts of a picture or a design. We call this guiding effect leading lines. They basically control how we see the whole artwork. Three, shape, also known as plane. Geometric shapes are angular, while organic forms are irregular. Outlined shapes can represent a familiar object such as balls, house, 
camera, but simple shape can be square, circle, rectangle. There are two types of form. Geometric forms are those that appear man-made. Whether simple or complex, these produce a feeling of control or order and appear clean and sterile. Organic forms are those that appear natural. Organic forms, whether simple or complex, produce a natural feel. Is the lightness or darkness of a color. It is also referred to as value of a color. Tone is one of the most powerful design elements. In any painting, photograph, or design, the area of highest contrast between light and dark will always demand maximum attention. Texture brings feeling to your work. It defines the surfaces of shapes and forms and allows us to imagine a vintage feeling or modern feeling. There are two types of texture. Image texture, pattern texture. Image texture is generated from a combination of organic or geometric shapes and color. It can be simple or complex and generally appears random to create a particular look and feel. Image textures tend to tantalize the senses and therefore, the eye is naturally drawn to image textures. They can be likened to the sense of smell and touch. You can't see anything in particular in it, but overall, it triggers emotions and sensations of touch. Environmental textures can be wood, rain, sand, water to the stars in the sky. Biological textures can be skin, fur, feathers, and animal prints. Man-made textures can be paintings, illustrations, dyes, cloths, papers, typography, photographic effects, etc. Pattern texture is also generated from organic or geometric shapes and color though pattern texture is mostly manufactured. Patterns can be simple or complex, but unlike image texture that generally appears random, patterns appear more structured. 7. Color refers to the use of different hues, shades, and tones to create visual interest, convey messages, and evoke emotions in various design projects. It plays a crucial role in grabbing attention, conveying meaning, and influencing the overall mood or atmosphere of a design. Eight, text. Also referred to as typography is the strategic arrangement of type to make written language readable and visually appealing. The art of typography is one of the most important skills every graphic and web designer needs to master. It's central to every form of design, both print and digital. We use typography to describe the shapes, forms, and lines that make up a letter. There are two common style categories of text, serif and sans serif. Serif typefaces are characterized by small decorative lines or strokes that are added to the ends of characters, known as serifs. These serifs give the typeface a more traditional and formal appearance. Serif fonts are often used for printed materials such as books, newspapers, and magazines because the serifs help guide the reader's eyes along the lines of text, improving readability. Examples of popular serif typefaces include Times New Roman, Georgia, and Garamond. Sans serif typefaces, on the other hand, do not have serifs. The term sans is French for without, so sans serif literally means without serifs. Sans serif typefaces have a cleaner and more modern look compared to serif typefaces. They are often used for digital designs, such as websites and presentations, 
as well as for signage and advertisements where readability from a distance is important. Examples of popular sans serif typefaces include Arial, Helvetica, and Verdana. Worked example. Create collages. Provide students with magazines, newspapers, colored paper, scissors, and glue. Ask them to create collages focusing on one or more elements of design, such as color, shape, line, texture, or form. Encourage them to experiment with different arrangements to convey specific moods or messages.